WTFNN. Headline news update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien, coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida, 2 p.m. Eastern time on Monday, two hours left to go on the trading day. And we got markets floating around flat territory. Dow Jones, though, in the negative, mostly to do with Boeing negative action. Dow off 111 points, trading at 26,312. We've got the NASDAQ currently positive by two, trading at 7941. S&P is negative by one, trading at 28.94. Quite a day for oil, above $64, up a buck 21, trading at 64.30 now. We got weakness in the dollar index, off 367 ticks, trading at 96.635. And gold, positive 650 for the day, but off the highs, gold trading at 13.02.10. Excuse me. Start things off. Let's jump over to the Nadex platform, check out some of those futures markets. We'll start it off with the Dow, and why not? We're going to jump to Boeing, actually, before we get ahead of that, because Boeing is the culprit in that Dow. Boeing now off 4.8%. <clears throat> Excuse me, quite a number, trading at 373.12 and to jump back. So that having quite an impact on the Dow, currently trading 26,314. We made lows at about 26,250 right after the opening bell. NASDAQ 100 up there at session highs, 76.10. Quite a far cry from where we were this morning, about 50 NASDAQ 100 points higher as we were at 75.62 early in the day. S&Ps also at session highs. We were up there at 28.94 just a moment ago. Right after the opening bell, we were trading at 28.84. So you're talking about a solid 10 points from that level. Crude oil, how about that chart? We just made highs, 64.43, and the price of crude oil, looking at that May contract, gas prices going up. Gold contract, quite a spike early in the day, up until 9 a.m. Eastern time, we reached 13.07.81. You got gold trading at 13.02.09, and as we've seen, a little bit of dollar weakness, euro strength, euro trading 112.61. In terms of what else you have happening out there, so we referenced Boeing, quite a hit on the Dow. We also have a couple movers and shakers. You have Sony trading higher, up 8%, quite a number to get back to that story. You have third points, Daniel Loeb, targeting the company once again. So that hedge fund putting 500 million to possibly a billion dollars. There it is, raising an investment vehicle just for Sony. GE, GE shares trading lower as they get a downgrade as well, and Snap also trading higher. The two of them will finish. GE down 7.4% and Snap up 4.3. Stay tuned folks, Dave White coming up right now.